I told you I was gonna do the whole pull through soap thing and I did do it and I did film it but I didn't film an intro and part of it was blurry I don't know what happened but I think it was divine intervention because these soaps didn't turn out very well sad trombone but it's okay I'm gonna try it again probably on on um, Friday but what I learned from this was that look so hard um, what I learned from this is that I used a slightly accelerating fragrance oil it got thick quick so I'm gonna need to do something a little thinner that gives me some time to work we'll do it again you know but what I need to make today is some tarts. So, um, I make little wax tarts, little wax soy, wax smelling tart things. And typically they look like, typically uh, they look like this. Um, and uh, they do okay. They really smell great. This one is, I call it Deluxe Resort because it smells just like the Grand Floridian. But, um, and also it smells like Bay Lake Tower and uh, the, yacht, the Yacht Club at Disney. And they have a, this, this wax has a good scent throw and it's not too terribly hard. But I took this test online. The, what was my eco footprint or something like that? It was like higher than I thought it should be. So I realized, you know what? Things like this are part of the problem. I quit shrink wrapping my soap. And now I send my soaps off in little wax bags with little cotton string, you know, ribbon ties. And so that's, that. I felt like that was pretty good. Paper labels, no more glossy labels. Paper labels, so everything's biodegradable. Um, but this, not biodegradable. Hecka convenient, let me tell you. Heck of convenient. I mean, you just pour your wax in here. Get it out of here. Put my foot on it and growl a little bit. You just put your put, put your little melty wax in here. And it pops right out. Mm, it smells so good. How how convenient is that? It's like one and done, right? Packaging and the mold. But when this mold is done, we got that to deal with. So I, I watched um, I watched Eden's Secret. I love her. You know what? She commented on my Kiss Poor video. It almost made me have a heart attack. I almost I'm serious. I almost sucked my tongue down my neck. I was like, oh. <laughs> so anyway, I watched her make her tarts, and she makes them in candy bar molds. Hang on, I'm gonna show you it. She makes them in candy bar molds like this and then um, she can wrap them with paper. And um, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think that is a much eco-friendlier option than this clamshell. They call these clamshells. I hope they remember that in 100 years. These are called clamshells. Anyway, I just, I just feel like I need to be a better part of the world, so. I use, the wax I use is from Rustic Essentials. I always keep the label off the bags because it tells me exactly what I need to do. Um, it is a KY, which I think is Kentucky, but I don't know if that's right. KY Parasoy, Parasoy Tart and Votive Wax. Um, I do a pound at a time because, you know, it's easier to figure my fragrance out that way. Um, today we are, well anyway, let me go on with this. Um, you have to do this uh, um, to one, I think it's 160, 165. Um, you add your fragrance and stir for two minutes. Um, the pour temp should be around um, 150 to 165. So really, it's really simple. Um, I'll tell you this. I do do a double boiler. I don't have a wax melter. Um, I've done these in the microwave. You cannot control that temperature. 
And the temperature does matter because um, like your scent can burn off or you can have a really rotten throw. So today we're gonna use Nature's Gardens Kofax cornbread. I call this cornbread because that's kind of how we say it, cornbread. Um, this is one of these, one of these vendors who doesn't list what they have, what percentages on their bottles. And look, this is a heck of a big bottle. We could have, we could have put something on there. So um, you have to look it up. So it says that I can use for my tarts and votives, I can use 10%. And then I wrote on here, I could put it in soap at 5%. Um, I just use it for tarts. It's, it's got a really nice, lovely, buttery kind of homey smell. Um, it does smell a little like cornbread, like sweet cornbread. Yeah, it smells like there's a little, like kind of little caramely smell, buttery, caramely, corny. Yeah. I'm not allowed to have cornbread anymore. Anyway, let's get crack a -lacking. Okay, um, before we get crack a -lacking. I just want to show you, I don't know if you can see this, um, on Nurture Soaps, or Nature's Gardens, I'm sorry, Nature Garden website, it will tell you all of the facts about that fragrance oil. So um, it says the top notes are cornmeal and sugar, the middle notes are maple, sugar, and buttermilk, and the base notes is warm bread. I would say all of that is absolutely accurate. You can actually just type in the name of the fragrance and it typically, it just comes up. Nature's Garden. Anyway, so that's it. I just wanted to share that with you. Okay, we're at temp. So I'm gonna pour this in here and immediately, you know, it's gonna get a little bit light. It's gonna cool that down. And because we are right at 154. I'm gonna go ahead and, now I like to like make my, fra my fragrance oil a little bit warm so it doesn't, you know, change the temperature too much. Now we gotta stir this, I'm not kidding, for two to three minutes. And it's important because we want all of that wax to get bound to that fragrant oil, fragrance oil. So um, I'm gonna see you back in about two to three minutes when this is all done doing its thing. It smells really good. All right, we're ready to pour. Okay, now I don't color my wax. I don't because I don't, I don't particularly enjoy um, having colored wax in my, in my um, tart burner, Oops, my tart burner because like I had one one time that was red it was like a Christmas one and it smelled really really good but I could like never get that red stain off the off the tart thing and I just I just prefer just to do plain wax with really groovy scents that's my jam you know you know so that's my thing each one of these candy bars holds two ounces I typically have um, two and a half ounces per per mold, so I'll probably have to lower the. Well, it will be lower the cost. I'll have to lower the cost of these because I don't have all that big giant um, mold clamshell thing to pay for anymore. So that will that'll help with that, right? we wait look I'd love to know what your favorite smells are I would love to know oh, look I got this in the mail this thing right here I don't know why I got it but I got it um, I didn't order it anyway um, I'd love to know what your favorite scents are um, I know that for me I love lemon smells when I wash my hair um, I kind of like um, cinnamon smells for myself um, but for my tarts I love cinnamon and and um, these kind of foodie smells. It's probably not good for me, but I, but I do like them. So we're gonna wait on these, and um, 
I'll be back after a bit and we'll wrap some of the ones that we've already done. So, I'll be right back. Oh, so look, I feel like I gotta tell you this. I pour these at about 155, 150, 155. Um, I put my fragrance oil in at right, right, right around, I don't know, at 162, but that whole two to three minutes will make your wax start getting hard again. So, you know, it's, it's good to have your little thing a little bit warm and it's good to have your uh, fragrance oil a little bit warm. That way it doesn't make all that cloudiness so it, it gums up. You'll be surprised like, if you get it on the sides and you can rake it down, a lot of times it's still, it's still good and hot enough to remelt that. So anyway, we'll be back in a little bit. Okay, I wanna show you really quickly how easy it is to get these out of these molds. I'm sure you probably already can figure that out. Um, I'll show you the best way that I have found to do it. Let me adjust this down so you can see. So for me, the easiest way was to flip this mold over and just give it a gentle push. And they come out pretty easily. Just like that. Now these need to cure like, I cure them for like at least a week before they ever get burnt, but I'm gonna wrap one. Um, for you right here right now. So I got these little foil papers Like little candy bar papers I'm just gonna put it in there just like that I'm not sure whether it's better to do it like this Nope, I don't think so It is a little fiddly, isn't it? Just like that. Not perfect. I'm gonna get better at it. But I have a label, a paper wrapper that will go over it like this. I did not measure this correctly, but it will eventually. We'll just take the part that fits and put it on there. And then eventually the, like, the little silver ends will stick out like that. Once I get this label situation figured out, we'll be ready for business. So I'm gonna go over to my Maestro label printer, my Maestro label designer, and skinny these down just a tiny little bit. Um, I'm gonna mark where this needs to be. with some sort of writing utensil so I can get this under. That needs to be there. I want this to be here. Now those are my new parameters. Okay, I'll see you later. Okay, so I'm back in my, back in the Maestro label printer situation. Okay, so, um, I know that everything has to come back, this, this I already changed and moved a little bit, but I know I need to move everything in significantly. Like I know that right here is where, like right about here is where this, this circle has to end. So let's just move that there. And we'll move cornbread right there too. Okay, and we know that the mermaid is getting hit right there. So let's shrink her down. Let's just get all this out of here. Okay. 
I can shrink this down a little bit too. Let's make this be, it's probably good. Make that be a 15. And you can do that all right over here. So you can see my font is Walter Turncoat. My font size is that, font color, okay. So we're good with that. So now we're gonna take Tart It Up, which is over here. We're gonna make it go down to about 24, I believe. We'll put it right here. Mm. Let's make it be smaller. 20. She can be smaller. Oh, there you go, sweetie. Look how much weight you've lost. I dig it. And then we can make this one bigger. Let's make this smaller yet. Okay. Scoot this over to closer to her. That still kind of fits, right? Okay. Oh, I still have to put made in Atlanta, Georgia. So let's um let's make this move up here. And we'll can this go here? It can go right here, right? Yeah, made in Atlanta, Georgia. Let's, let's move all of this up a little bit. So we have room to... Never leave a hot tart unattended. That's right. All right, so I think that might, that might work. So I'm gonna print a copy of this out and I'll take it over to my, um, take it over to my little paper cutter and we'll get that done. But look, I'm gonna tell you, online labels, this is this is from online labels um, they give you this maestro printing situation when you buy labels they give you access to it and I have like well I'll have to save this so let me print this first so I'll say print now download and print and then it'll pull it up how it's gonna print it prints two labels and then I will print it. I'm just gonna do one this time just to make sure it all works. And it's printing, okay. So, um, save. So look, all of my stickers, soap labels, all of my stuff is, is in here. You can keep it all here. And you can also, you can also put it on your, um, you can also download it to your computer so you won't lose it. So that's pretty good, pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go check that print and bring it back and see if it fits. Okay, so we got it all trimmed up and there it is. So I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this, but I wanna show you if it works. So hang on, I'm gonna wrap it. I'll show it to you when I'm done. <laughs> okay, thanks. So this is so this is the final product. That's it. That's more eco-friendly, right? I think so. I'd love to hear what kind of things that you are doing with your products to be more eco-friendly. If you want to leave them in the comments below, I'd appreciate it. So that's it for today. It was a little weird, wonderful day today. Um, look, my Disney pants. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching. I love you, Mises to Pieces. Um, I'm gonna do another video this week. Um, I've got a ton of stuff to do. Susu Soaps is kind of live. Um, only a test run on Shopify, and I'm finding out that I don't like Shopify. So um, we're gonna go with a straight website. And um, 
it's being built right now. It should be done, but it'll probably be open by mid-May. So we just got more pictures taken today and I'm gonna get these products more eco-friendly. And we'll be off to the races again. <laughs> All right, you guys, please take care of yourselves. Stay safe. My hands are dirty. I love you, Mises to Pieces. <laughs> Bye.